This video is brought to you by John Robson Guitar Tuition. If you enjoy the content, please consider supporting the channel by enrolling on a course, purchasing some guitar lessons or a t-shirt, or you can join my Patreon. Now, on with the show. Hello chaps, welcome once again to John Robson Guitar Tuition. As always, I do hope you're well. Uh, as you know, I don't usually do Saturday videos, um, but... I have something of a backlog of material to get through at the moment, so uh, for the next few weeks there are going to be, um, you know, videos Monday to Thursday, a live stream on a Friday, and um, a video on a Saturday and a Sunday. I'm, I'm a busy lad, basically. Uh, but let me tell you what's been going on. Um, a little while ago, um, the chaps from uh, Bax Music, the online uh, guitar and music retailer, got in touch with me and said, we're bringing out a new range of Faisley guitars. Uh, would you like us to send you some to, to review? So I said, well, yes, of course. Um, never going to turn that down. And um, so anyway, about an hour ago, the Parcel Force van arrived with uh, one, two, three, four uh, guitar boxes. So what we're going to do today is just get all the guitars out of the boxes, have a quick look at them. Basically, first impressions, not uh, going into the usual sort of um, depth, if you can call it that, that I do with these first impressions videos. Just going to have a bit of a look at them and, and see what we think. And then over the next few weeks on a Saturday, you're going to be seeing the reviews of these very guitars. So, uh, I've got a, a knife. Uh, there's the boxes back there. Let's cue the music and get unboxing. Go on, we are. And here we are back again. Yes, I'm wearing different clothes. It's not because it's the next day. It's because uh, between doing that last part of the video and this part, I took the dog out for a walk and uh, got absolutely soaked to the blubber and the bone. The heavens opened and I got wet through. Um, so hence, a change of clothes was in order. Uh, you may have seen as well during that little unboxing uh, speeded up footage there that... Um, I pulled out a little bag of goodies from uh, from one of the boxes. There was a few sets of strings, a uh, bag of plectrums, a biro, and um, a pair of sunglasses. That is just Bax, Bax Music, being uh, generous to me for doing this review. Um, you know, so I'm just declaring that b before we go any further. Um, nevertheless, if the guitars are stinkers, I am going to tell you. <laughs> um, you know, I'm not saying I'm incorruptible, but my price is somewhat higher than a few trinkets like that. That's just them kind of saying thank you for doing these reviews. And um, maybe I'll uh, maybe I'll do some reviews of the strings. Anyway, let's get on with the guitars. Uh, this is the cheapest of the bunch out of the four they sent me. This is the Faisley Sunset Series Sand Shark, uh, which will cost you 162 English pounds. Um, what we've got here, we've got a basswood body and a roasted maple neck with a satin finish, 22 frets, a tusk nut, uh, a pair of unspecified, um, you know, humbuckers i suspect they're just some sort of oem um ceramic humbuckers um when we get around to doing the full review of the guitar we'll do kind of pick up readings and all that sort of stuff but we're just getting a basic idea of the guitar here today this guitar has got single coil switching on it so does one of the others that i'm going to be looking at but we're not going to bother with that today just a quick look at what the uh, different pickup selector uh positions sound like through my usual go-to sound of the uh, blue guitar amp one mercury 
edition on the vintage channel which is a nice kind of edge of breakup sound something tells me that these pickups here are going to be uh, a little bit more than edge of breakup um you know this has got a very kind of you know cer a certain genre of music vibe going on hasn't it it's very much a metal kind of guitar um oh, well, that's what the impression it gives me anyway anyway let's have a run through the uh, the pickup se selector settings uh, see what sort of sounds it makes Um, I may be uh, mistaken, but I definitely heard something of a of a Peter Green vibe, that out of phase tone in the middle position there, uh, which I always treat that as a happy accident when that happens. If it's not your thing, then, you know, it's either swap a couple of wires around to put the kind of pickups back in phase or, um, you know, send it back and, and get one that isn't wired like that because uh, I'm, I'm not sure that's intentional. In fact, I'm pretty certain it isn't. Uh, just mention here, nice contoured... Um, uh, heel joint there and as you can see a lovely bit of roasted maple for the uh, fretboard and the neck uh, this guitar all I've had to do with it since I took it out of the box is tune it and what I can tell you about the tuners is that they are non-locking and they are functional but they don't feel particularly high end but then again this is a 162 pound guitar so it's you know you, you can't you treat any kind of um high-end things on a sub 200 pound guitar as, as, a, as a welcome bonus not something that should be doled out with the rations really um so that's the cheapest of the bunch the Faisley sunset series sand shark try saying that after a few drinks um so we're going to move on to the next one up the uh, food chain which is this one this is the uh Faisley sunset series tortoise I'm a sucker for Telecasters, and I'm a sucker for tortoiseshell pick guards. So this one, uh, I think this was the first one that I took out the box, can't remember. Uh, but this one kind of uh, pleased me greatly when I saw it. Like the other one, we've got um, a, a roasted maple neck, tusk nut, non-locking tuners, um, three-way pickup selector. Uh, I think, what have we got here? Um, yeah, we've got a poplar body this time. Um, did I say uh, roasted maple neck? Yes, I think it did. Tusk nut. A uh, pair of um, unspecified single coil pickups, which we're going to have a listen to now, playing those same uh, kind of licks as I was doing on the last guitar. <laughs> So that's what that one sounds like. Um, it makes appropriate telecaster-y kind of noises. Um, you know, I apologise for that little flubber on that uh, when I was doing the bridge pickup there. The action on this guitar is, let's call it on the high side of medium. Um, you know, I'll, as I say, I'll do full measurements and everything um, when um, when the time is appropriate when I'm doing a full in-depth video on each guitar. But um, it's playable, but in an ideal world, I would prefer it a little bit lower. I'm sure uh, that you know we'll be able to get it uh, down low for the uh, for the full review video. Um, I've never had really had a Faisley guitar where there's been you know kind of choking out or dead spots or anything like that. So I'll probably do a little bit of a setup on it uh, just to get it into tip-top condition before it goes back. Uh, if you want to own one of these, it will cost you the princely sum of one hundred and eighty-seven pounds. Uh, like the uh, tuners on the on the other one, I think they're probably the same tuners. They feel functional, but there's there's that cheapness to them. But it's a cheap guitar, so you know um, what do you expect? They got the guitar in tune, um, you know, and uh, it seems to be 
holding tuning reasonably well um although that was that did, did sound a little bit off in a couple of places there but that, that might have been me um <clears throat> but yeah probably a good modding platform this one uh so that is as i say the uh, the second cheapest one of the bunch let's move on now to the uh, the, the the higher echelons of uh, the range of guitars that they've sent me uh let's have a look at the second most expensive one which is this one um again it's uh it's a Telecaster style guitar, um, and what have we got here? This is the Faisley Sunrise, not Sunset, the Faisley Sunrise Tide Blue Ocean Fade. Um, the asking price for one of these is uh, £307, um, and it just feels that little bit more you, like you've gone up a level uh, when you pick this one up. Um, the headline figures here are you've got an Akume body, which I'm counting... Uh, well, you can probably see on the back there. If you can see kind of the different, there's there's definitely a, a, a join there and probably another one there. The lovely bit of figuring in that middle piece of wood there as well. So we've got. I'm going to say that's probably a three-piece body. Um, I might be wrong. Let me know if you can see any other joins in there. But look at the figuring in that middle piece there. Also, nice around the back here, recessed plates. Okay, you don't always. I don't think my PRS has got recessed plates on the back which that's that's a nice touch at this kind of uh, price point uh the neck on this is it's a slightly different profile to the previous two uh much more to my liking a little bit more meat to get your hands on as i say there'll be full weights and measures for each of these guitars when i do that the individual video for each one um we've got on this one um and i mentioned yeah the kumir body roasted maple um the pickups this time have a little bit more specification. What we've got here are just a pair of Alnico humbuckers. I'm guessing probably Alnico 5 because that is the uh, the go-to kind of uh, magnet for most pickups that are just specified as Alnico. Uh, we've got locking tuners on this one. And uh, once again, single coil switching on a little uh, toggle switch down here. Master volume and master tone. Let's have a listen to the uh, to th the three positions on the pickup selector um, using those same licks as before. So there you go. Um, did I mention this also has a Tusk nut as well? Um, but a £307 guitar. The colour, it, it's it's kind of Marmite, isn't it? Um, you know, some people will love it. It's not to my taste, but that doesn't mean it's a bad guitar. Um, it's an exceptionally uh, nicely put together guitar for the money. Um, but I, just the colour is a little bit not for me shall we say so that is the second most expensive guitar that Faisley have been clever enough to or good enough or generous enough i should say to send me uh, we're going to look at uh, the, the the top of the tree now the most expensive one uh, let's go and grab it and it is this one shiny isn't it um this is let me have a look this is the Faisley project p4 heatwave sunburn sunburnt limited edition um and um basically to achieve this finish uh they've uh, they, they basically ran a, a, a gas torch over it, a kind of a blow lamp kind of thing th sort of thing that decorators use to strip old paint i imagine um to give it this kind of um kind of charred finish which i really rather like i think that looks pretty nice um and i don't usually like a heavy gloss shiny finish but there's something very custom shop looking about this i think 
Um, one of these guitars, if you uh, if if you are as taken with it as I am, or even more so, uh, will cost you three hundred and eighty four pounds to be the, become the proud owner of. Um, I don't have any information, or I didn't notice in the quick little skim I had of the um, the, the Faisley kind of specs. No, I didn't notice any information on the pickups. Um, but uh, once again, we've got locking tuners here and we've got a master volume and a master tone and a three-way pickup selector um so let's have a listen to what these pickups sound like going through those same licks on um you know on the same settings Um, exactly the sort of the sort of tones you expect from a guitar with this pickup configuration. Um, I've got to tell you, I'm, as I say, I'm, I'm usually more and more these days. I'm a fan of satin finished necks, but there's there's just something really kind of much more high end than it deserves to feel um, about the the feel of this neck. And maybe it's just the visual thing as well, because you know it is a multi sensory experience. But just uh, playing it, it feels really you know kind of slippery and smooth. Um, as I said, a kume body, roasted maple neck. Um, no, sorry, uh, what, which one am I looking at? Basswood body on this one, I beg your pardon. Basswood body with that kind of charred finish. Uh, roasted maple neck, 22 jumbo frets, um, a tusk nut, uh, locking tuners once again, and we've got uh, maybe not the most um, contoured neck um, joint in the world, but certainly, um, certainly better than, you know, that kind of big old four bolts and a, and a kind of big metal plate there it's uh, it certainly doesn't feel any hindrance to get up to the dusty end um so there you go as i say we are going to be uh, doing each of these guitars in turn a full shakedown video where we're doing weights and measures and listening to each of them in a finished track as well and um yeah that should be a fun fun little exercise to do um and uh, that's pretty much the video for today folks thank you so much for tuning in and watching me um getting uh, these uh, guitars out of the box and making a complete uh, unholy mess of this uh, tiny little room here there's guitar boxes piled everywhere but it's a nice problem to have isn't it uh, but that is as i say the video for today hope you've enjoyed me uh, rambling and uh, blethering on about these guitars and if that's the case please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell if you haven't already done so and why not drop me a like as well while you're at it don't forget the live stream every friday 5 p.m uk time where we drink beer and talk about music and guitars and all manner of good stuff fantastic way to kick off the weekend and i'd love to see you there if you can make it but for now i'll bid you all a good day and say thank you so much for watching thank you for your time look after yourselves folks stay well stay safe and above all stay sane bye for now